So guys, apparently the Mercedes partnership is back on the table. What? So of course I had to hit up a couple of uh, people that work at Neo and ask them what the hell's going on. And I got the, like the in-depth story. Wow, this is absolutely crazy, all right? And this is something you guys probably didn't know about. So uh, back in April, Mercedes approached Neo to potentially use their battery swap system. And back then, you got to understand, back then it was very different. Neo did not have any battery swap partners back then, all right, April of 2023. And Mercedes were the first guys. And what they really wanted to do was, well, they had a swap station outside of their German headquarters. And they just saw that thing every day and they really liked it. So they wanted to partner up. But apparently, what I heard is that they wanted to brand the swap station with a Mercedes logo, right? A Mercedes logo swap station. So sort of like licensing the tech and to have a Mercedes swap station, that kind of stuff. But apparently Neo didn't really want to do that. So they didn't go ahead and just sort of put it off the table, so to speak. But ever since then, I guess, you know, maybe from the get-go, Neo CEO has thought about having these uh, swap station partnerships from the beginning, or maybe Mercedes approaching them really opened his mind up and gave him a sort of euphoric moment and thought, hey, why don't we have these swap stations for everybody? So it could be one or the other, but ever since then, of course, we all know Neo's gotten so many of these partnerships with these big automakers all over China, right? And even Lotus as well, which is, I guess, arguably the best uh, partner for Neo to have because it's international. It's an international brand. Everybody knows about Lotus. So ever since then, uh, apparently right now, that deal is back on the table again, right? Seeing that everybody's entering the swap game and it's sort of like you do this or you're going to miss out kind of situation. And if you look at Mercedes sales for EV, their EV sales have just been terrible. All right. And uh, it's very clear that in the EV game, they are outmatched. They cannot compete against Tesla, Neo, and all these other Chinese brands. And they have to resort to big, heavy price cuts, which makes everything unprofitable. And it just, why would you try to sell a car if you're losing money, right? So seeing all these other guys join in on the swap, and it's a trend. Basically, everybody has to do swapping in the future they are putting it back on the table, all right? And this really does mean a lot for Mercedes. It really also means a lot for Neo. Obviously, Neo's not gonna go ahead with Mercedes branded swap stations, no. They're gonna have public swap stations that might be Neo branded, but maybe will have like a separate individual brand. Uh, I don't know, like, some other brand name that doesn't have any affiliation to one specific company because it, it never really looks good if it's like a Mercedes car going into a Neo swap station. That would make, sort of make them think, hey, why don't we just buy a Neo car, right? And that goes with all the partners, right? Uh, why, why would people buy a, a Zeker if uh, you know it's going to a Neo swap station? So maybe, maybe... All right, they might have to change the swap station branding, not have a Neo brand, not have a Neo logo, have some sort of other logo maybe, and that would perhaps work out. But it is apparently back on the table. Now, uh, we've heard before, even like late last year, like in October ish, there were Neo sales reps actively sharing on their social media that Mercedes had already signed the deal. Huh, right? A little bit sus, to be honest. Well, of course, I reported on it. I told you guys about it. And they were they were sharing photos as well. And it was like kind of weird, kind of weird. Like, okay, uh, why would sales reps be uh, accustomed to this type of information first? So hmm, maybe it's on the table. Maybe it's not, right, back then. But now it's kind of uh, things have changed. Things are very different. It's sort of like... They're going to face extinction unless they do something about this whole uh, poor sales thing. And it seems like their strategy, 
uh, has been to, first of all, cut back on EV uh, research and development, but also perhaps move into swap station. Now, we do know that Mercedes has actually done a thorough, in-depth questionnaire research with NIO owners, a lot of uh, first-gen NIO owners, questionnaires about how battery swap has helped them, etc. And that really is a dead giveaway that they're very interested in battery swapping, okay? And we also heard recently they shut down some of the factories here in Beijing that produces their EVs. And it's very apparent the EV is not doing that well. And they're cutting back on uh, R&D. And a couple months ago, two months ago, about two months ago, uh, Neil CEO actually was on stage and answered a question about Mercedes sort of cutting back research. And apparently, he had to correct them. He, he corrected the person answering the question. He said, they're not uh, cutting back exactly like ending things they're sort of like uh, not making it exclusive to electric vehicles they're also going to continue development of um, gasoline vehicles and before Mercedes had the goal of like something like 2030 everything's gonna be electrified but apparently they're changing that goal and uh, so it's very up in the air I for me personally I believe like 90% certainty it's already signed it's already done they have a lot of these partners going on, and everything's going in Neil's favor, all right? And it's, it's kind of apparent. Lotus, man, Lotus, even Lotus signed in. And this, I think, is a big uh, hint towards Mercedes that they got to they gotta do something, right? Uh, Lotus, I mean, Lotus's partnership is just insane because it's not only uh, joining in on battery swap, but co-developing. That means Lotus is also going to put in R&D money to partner with Neo, all right, to work together to do research on battery swap and, and to f polish things, make things even better. So they are just not only shaking hands, they're like, you know, arm in arm together. And hopefully Mercedes, you know, seeing how b successful battery swap is here in China, they, they might join in. And um, it's very apparent that in the future, in the future years, three, four, Five years down the line, if your EV can't do battery swap, that's going to be a huge disadvantage. That's going to be a huge disadvantage. Uh, those EREVs, the only reason they're selling is because there's that convenience of gasoline, right? It's an EV with a gas tank. Uh, and uh, battery swap is also another great solution for solving this uh, long charging time or charging lineup kind of problem and uh, the the reach the benefits go beyond that right battery degradation problem is a big problem for all evs except ones that can do battery swap and then also battery upgrades right ne uh, neos can do battery upgrades envo can do battery upgrades in the future all swappable cars battery swappable cars can do battery upgrades so it's a trend people are finally waking up to it mercedes was kind of one of the early ones to see how good this is but ever since then, they haven't really, uh, you know, publicly announced the deal. But ever since then, got so many of these other companies publicly announced the deal. So, well, it looks like it might be back on the table. And I think Mercedes might be willing to accept a swap station that has new branding. It doesn't have to have Mercedes branding. I mean, this is kind of weird. Like having a Mercedes branded swap station, I know it'll look good for Mercedes. But that's not something that I think Neo would... Uh, want them to take credit for because that's you know it's a neo swap station at the end of the day so take it for what it's worth i believe it's a done deal all right from what i heard it's a done deal but publicly speaking it's not publicly announced so all right we'll have to wait for the public announcement all right as always stay safe stay healthy peace out